You're busted. <laughs> Congratulations on finally getting your badge there, Coop. Or maybe I should say Detective Cooper. Yeah, thanks, Beasley. Sweetie, did you know about this? Detective Cooper. I like the sound of that, don't you? Ah, come on, Coop. I know you hate a party, but this one's in your honor, so maybe you could just smile a little bit. I don't want a party. Well, you've got one, so damn it, enjoy it. How about a nice club soda? You've earned it. How about a nice shot of tequila? Straight, no chaser. Come on, Coop. I thought you were on the wagon. And I thought you were a bartender. Come on, sweetie, give me a break. You know, uh, back when I was a cop, we didn't have any nifty parties for a promotion. No? What'd you get? Well, they uh, handcuffed me to the legs of a pool table. And then the guys, they sent in this great big hula dancer. A hula dancer? <laughs> yeah. And, well, she started to... Uh... Why the hell am I telling you this? I have no idea. Pour me another, will you? Listen, don't look now, but uh, here comes Chandler. Looks like he's got a date. With her, not a chance. Well, Detective Cooper, heard you had a little trouble getting to bed last night. Buy you a drink, boss? It's my party. I heard two cops on foot patrol found you passed out in front of your apartment building. They had to drag you upstairs, put you to bed. You gonna congratulate me or chew me out? That's the captain's special way, Coop. Promote, then pounce. Cooper, I want you to meet your new partner, Detective Block. Block, Detective Cooper. Congratulations, Detective Cooper. Um, call me Coop, everybody does. Block just transferred from San Francisco. Well, have a seat, Block. Let me buy you a drink. I don't drink. Oh, um, well, uh... Sweetie serves a mean club soda. Orange juice, please, bartender. You got it. 
And then there's this. I know. Eight street kids killed in two months. Great music. Towards you. I want you and Block to go undercover on this. You know Lieutenant Russo? Russo, fat guy with hair on his back? <laughs> Hardly. He's your go-between with homicide, and he has a case summary. He's at your disposal. I'm also sending you a tech expert from downtown in a couple of days. Tech expert? What are we, secret agents? Stop whining. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Look, I've gotta run. Congratulations. Captain, you leaving so soon? We didn't even get a chance to dance. <laughs> My protege. Well, looks like it's you and me, Block. It looks that way. Sweetie, give us another round and I'll quit forever. Last one, Coop. So, do you have a first name? Edith. It's Edith. No, really, I mean, what's your first name? It's Edith. Okay, I think I'll just stick with Block if that's all right with you. I'd uh, appreciate that. Gonna make me a star. Sweetie, take care of my new partner for a minute, will you? Excuse me, Block. Sure. You. Oh, yes. You're Cooper. Congratulations. You I'm staring at me over there? Hey. Sorry. Uh-huh. Follow me. You know, back in my day, we didn't have any vice girls. But I've decided uh, it ain't a bad idea. Inside. You know, your name sounds really familiar to me. Block. Are you sure we never worked together before? I don't think so. I've worked in San Francisco most of my career. Frisco? Love that town. Great seafood. I got it. You're that cop that got her partner shot because you were too tough to call for backup. That's enough, Beasley. No, 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 I knew she looked familiar. I remember now. You know what everybody's saying? That in a way, you killed your own partner. Hey! <clears throat> that incident was a year ago. I have been totally cleared of all allegations. <clears throat> now, as a 12 noon today, I am back on the force. Understand? <clears throat>
like a real movie star. What did you say your name was? John. John Russo. Lieutenant John Russo? Yeah. That <laughs> figures. You got a case summary for me? I left it on the bar. Great. Captain said you were at my disposal. Hey, wait. wait. Hey, hey, where are you going? Uh, your cuffs. Nobody can catch us. What'd you get? A uh, box of paper clips, a fancy pen, and <laughs> looks like an adjustable date stamp. All I got was some stationery. Well, we can use the pen and the stationery and, and write all our loyal friends and loving families thank yous. <laughs> yeah, all we need are some stamps. Oh. Actually, I'm looking at my only friend. Jesse? Yeah? You think it was a stupid idea to rob a stationery store? You mean, instead of like, fruit stand or the bank or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, Polly. Hey, Coop. Want to buy a pen? Let's see it. Two bucks. Tell you what, I got some stuff here, just a blanket, some food. How about we make a trade? For a cup, you're not too bad. So, did you guys check out that runaway shelter yet? Yeah, we checked it out. Somebody stole Jesse's shoes the first night. Shoes? Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. You know, I might have an extra pair laying around somewhere. Will you just stop trying to help us? We're doing fine, okay? Thanks anyway, Coop, but um, I stole them back. Listen, there's something else, and it's really important. There's been a few murders around here. Young kids just like you. A few murders? I count nine. Where have you been? Polly, she's just trying to help. She's right, it's nine. Did you know that last girl, Michelle? <laughs> You're even dumber than I thought. Of course we knew her. Take it easy, Polly. Did you ever see her talking to anybody, or...? I didn't see anything. Michelle was a very nice kid. She was just really, really stupid, and Jesse and I aren't stupid. I know you're not stupid, Polly. All right, just be careful, okay? Thanks for the stuff. I'll see you around. Bye, Coop. Man, you dug into her. Come on, she's just looking out for us. The only person Coop is looking out for is herself. This is Cooper. Leave a message. Cooper, uh, this is John. John Russo? Uh, I left a couple of messages before, and... Uh... I know, I'm sorry I've been so busy. I just thought that after the other night, um, that is, uh, well, I wanted to see you again, and uh, I could take you on a proper date. Who wants a proper date? Well, I guess, um, just give me a call, okay? 555-6373. Bye.
<sighs> Too eager, Russo. Strangulation, just like the others. I'd say she was killed someplace else, though, then dropped here. You okay? What? Jessie. Your name's Jessie. You knew her. I'm sorry. I wonder if that was even a real name. I was just talking to them yesterday. She's 15. Was 15. Them? She and her friend, Polly. Well, maybe she saw something. Let's calm this crime scene. Can't afford to miss a thing, not a single thing. Detective, this one found the body. What's her name? Crystal. What happened, Crystal? I had some business to conduct here in the alley. You had business with whom? Forget it. He's long gone. All right, go on. So like I already told the cop, me and the guy, walk down the alley, bam, there's this dead body. He freaks out and takes off. I have a little bit of a conscience, so I call the cops. You didn't see anything else? No. All right, thanks. Take down her address if she has one. Two interesting items over by the body. What's this? Lens cap. Looks new? Yep. And this. What is it, a piece of plastic? But it's new. There's no dirt on it. It's shrink wrap. It says high eight, super chrome. Videotape. That's right. I think I might have seen something. Sweetie, walk gang show? Yeah, he's in the pool room. I uh, told him I was thinking about putting some strippers in here and I needed his advice. And uh, well, he bought it and trotted right on over here. Listen, you girls be careful because he's on something. No problem. Sweetie, thanks, I owe you one. Yeah. Remember, we need this guy. This has got to work. Block. <laughs> Wolfgang Lug does not carry a weapon. We're just going to talk to him. Think of it as a conversation piece. <gasps> Hold it, Fights! Fuck you. Didn't they teach you anything in prison, Wolf? You don't have to send you back there. Up yours, babe. Teach me that sometime. It would be my pleasure. Penny for your thoughts. Dollar for your death. Oh, I just love these little impromptu gatherings, don't you, Wolfie? Oh, I ain't saying shit to you till I see my lawyer. Well, you know, you might not need your lawyer. Hey, sweetie, give me a beer here for my pal Wolfgang. Block? Tomato juice. Oh, what is this, a goddamn tea party? Oh, yeah, Wolfie. And you're the guest of honor. We need a favor, and frankly, you owe us one. About three grams of favor, I'd say. I guess you've heard there's been a rash of killings. Yeah, hookers. Kids! Street kids! Yeah? Well, I don't do kids, and I never whacked anybody before. 
Hey, well, what's this all about? Get on with us, okay? What, are you in a hurry? Yeah, I got a fucking pedicure at two. You still own that adult video store down on Central? Maybe. You know what maybe gets you these days, Wolfie? About ten years in the big house. And considering your past indiscretions, I think they might even keep you longer. Yeah, yeah, I own the place. Big deal. Hey, can I get someone up here? I'm dying here. Some of these kids. Russo, you never call? Cooper, this is Lieutenant Mindy Turner. Chandler brought her on. She's your tech support. I know Mindy. I requested her. Hello, Coop. Lieutenant, this is Detective Block. I know Block. Well, great, then we're all friends here. Russo, what do you got? What about him? What about my beer? Oh, don't worry about Wolfie. He's just about to sign on with the Vice Girls. Vice Girls? <laughs> it's cute. Uh, listen, we got a link here for what it's worth, Turner. The lens cap found at the scene comes from a high 8 video camera, which would match the high 8 shrink wrap. They film a lot of pornography on this type of camera. They're not too expensive, and the quality is pretty good. Well, what do you think about it, Turner? Well, I'd say somebody was taping the killings. Snuff films, perhaps? Ooh. And snuff films sell for lots of money, don't they, Wolfie? Yeah, well, well I wouldn't know. I'm only into what's legal. Anyway, I'm a fine, upstanding member of the community now. I try and stay away from that stuff. Well, we've got a list of suspects here. I want you to invite them to your little, uh, autograph party. What? I'll fuck my business. Yeah, you're already fucked, Wolfgang. Coop, I need a word. You think about it. Del Vecchio, in my office. So, what's up, Russo? Well, um, I wanted to, to talk to you about the party the other night. Uh, you and I at the party and, and you know, what, what happened and all, but um, I just, I, I get the feeling that you don't. I don't what? <laughs> you just don't want to talk about it. Oh, on the contrary, Russo. I'd love to talk about it. I had a great time. What about you? Well, yeah, uh, you know. I had a, I had a, <clears throat> I had a great time too, actually. Great, then everybody's happy. So, are you gonna join me for a tinkle here, or what? No. Bitch! I knew my partner. Shit. Are you happy, Turner? Her partner was my friend. What do you think she did it on purpose? That's not the point. That is entirely the point, Mindy. Do you think she's the first cop that ever made a mistake? Lost a partner in the line of duty? All right, maybe she should have called for a backup. She didn't. Maybe she thought she could handle it. I made a mistake like that once myself. We all make mistakes. We do things that we regret for the rest of our lives. Look, you're cops. People get killed. That is the goddamn job. So why don't you get out there and do the job you've been hired to do? Catch that killer. I'm all right. I just love female bonding. Who doesn't? Why don't you shut that hell up? All right, here's the deal. You help us out? And we forget about your little sinus condition. You chicks are nuts! Fuck me.
How's it going, Quentin? It's going great, Mr. Love. We're selling out of everything. You know, this is just like a real movie set. Dominique Star right here in the store. The cops in the back with a sting operation. Will you keep your mouth shut about that, you idiot? Sorry, boss. Do you think you could introduce me to Dominique Star? All right. Look, just don't go on about the movies the way you do, okay? Say hello, nice to meet you, goodbye, and that's it. Got it? Got it. Go. Excuse me, Dominique. This is my store clerk, Quentin. He wanted to meet you. Quincy, nice to meet you. Nice suit. Thanks. You know, Miss Starr, I'm a big fan of yours. I've seen all your movies. And I'm a filmmaker, too. Maybe we could get together sometime and discuss the state of the cinema, trends and applications. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Mr. Trope, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, just fine. Listen, uh, you asked me to let you know if I ran into anything special in the area of your interest. Oh, like that last item. That was superlative. Listen, uh, I have a live item today, very tender. You might say uh, a young nubile. Oh, oh, a nubile, you don't say. <laughs> I do say, Mr. Trope. And for a mere 60 bucks, she'll do her little schoolgirl dance for you. Right now, live. Well, Mr. Love, I happen to have three 20s right here in my pocket. Will 60 do? 60's perfect. Just go on back, right through the door. You know the way. Thank you, Mr. Love. Thank you very much. Excuse me, miss. This is the schoolgirl dance, isn't it? What? Let me zoom in on him. Well? Here. I'll turn up the volume in the left breast. No, it's not him. I don't think so. Well, I mean, it's hard to tell. It, it was so dark. What I mean is, you're not. You, you gotta be 25 years old. You, sir, are an insulting pedophile. And I was told you were 12. Vice, you're busted. What? Tape anything interesting on that video camera, Mr. Trope? Why? Where's your lens cap? I lost it. Yeah, right. Come on, let's go. But I didn't do anything. Yeah, well, we'll think of something. Come on, give me a break. <clears throat> I have to make a little adjustment here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I must admit, Turner, this is the most intriguing surveillance device I've ever operated. Thanks. <laughs> Just be careful of the nipples. They're very sensitive. Right. Send back one more. You got it. Hey, this ain't what I paid for. Really?
No, it's not him. She must have taken off. Who? Polly. The whole place is empty. Wolfgang's got it all locked up. When the hell did she slip out? I don't know, but I think she really felt bad about coming up short today. Yeah, but that's not her fault. She is only 15. If the captain finds out we lost the one person who might have seen Too her. Too late. He just found out. Don't you ever knock, Captain? I take it you accomplished nothing here other than losing the one person who saw the killer? Am I right? We'll find her. Let me see if I got this straight. You three meter maids spent a whole day trying to finger a perp with a 15-year-old hooker who might have seen something somewhere. Russo tells me a simple lineup of suspects wasn't good enough for you? Well, I didn't exactly say that. Shut up, Russo. You had to go through this whole straight. Is that it? The facts exactly, sir. Block. If I were you, I'd start getting serious about doing my job. Just one more thing. While you three were goofing off, there was another murder. Let's go, Russo. Sorry, Coop. <laughs> Why don't you three badged bimbos get the hell out of my store? Bad timing. Very bad timing! Dad, forget about it! Stop, man! Forget about it! Easy. Sounds like my little speech worked. I hope so. I still need you to keep an eye on Coop. She tends to bend the rules a little too much. I don't want her to screw up this case. Stay on top of her. Understand? I will, sir. You know, an obvious thing has occurred to me in the captain's absence. <coughs> How can a scum sucker like you be in this business and not know about snuff films? Where to get them? Who makes them? You know, ladies, I think Wolfie here knows far more than he's letting on. Now. You see this gun? Poor little gun. It only has one bullet. But where? Now, every time I ask you a question and you don't tell me what I want to hear, I pull the trigger. Jesus. You didn't answer me, that's one. Please don't, don't, don't. Two. Jesus Christ, you didn't even ask me a question. You tell me what I want to know. I, I don't know anything. I don't handle that stuff. I swear to you. Maybe three's a charm then. No, 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 no. It's, it's in a file cabinet in the second drawer. Check it, Block. <laughs> Better not be playing with me, Wolfgang. Seventy. It's in there. It's in there. It's taped up underneath, I swear. Got it. 
Thanks, Wolfie. Here's a little party favor for you. Good Lord. Well, there's not much to go on. Yeah, but it's all we've got. Listen, Wolfgang. You're gonna get us an introduction to the person who made this tape. Fuck me. What am I doing here? I'm supposed to be tech support. Uh, stop complaining. We're undercover. Oh, I'm a little bit too undercover for my liking. I think you look great, babe. Are you afraid? Certainly not. Then pet? Pet him? Trelane! Mr. Love, you skanky smut peddler. Glad you could make it. Mint Julep? Thank you. As you can see, I deliver. This is Jan. Edith. And Mindy. Mindy? An ancient name. I watched you walk in. Reminded me of that beautiful goddess Isis. <laughs> you must have me confused with some other goddess. Mindy, what? You know, Trelane, these babes really dig your movies. Films, Wolfgang. Films. Oh, yes, we love all your films. Really? Come, all ye faithful. <laughs> A holiday classic. Is that your video camera? Oh, one of the many. Marvelous little device, really. The Night of the Naughty Necrophiliac. Oh, I loved it. It looks like you lost your lens cap. Well, aren't you the observant little cinematographer? The Island of Dr. Lesbo. <laughs> now that's a movie. Minnie, it's clear to me that you are a true sextilectual. Huh. It's funny your friends don't look the type. <laughs> we don't? No. What do we look like? Cops. I'm kidding! Relax, Evu! <laughs> Wolfgang, why don't you show Jan and Edith to the dance floor? I'll entertain Mindy. I, um... Let's dance. Ugh. Isis, you're my wet dream come true. Well, hello there, darling. Hello, Elvis. Tell them. Thank you very much. Cheryl, you really think you're the only one whose libido is manipulated by external forces? Well, I hope not. I strongly resent having my libido pulled to and fro by every Madison Avenue huckster, not to mention Hollywood and its minions. I, I, I foot and I, and I go home and I get in the shower and, 
and all of a sudden I'm staring at, at the shower head. And, and, I, and, you know, I'm staring at it and I start thinking, what if shower heads could talk? Well, I'm planning on becoming a really big, big star. What if the damn thing had eyes? What if it's looking at me? Hey, what if it's looking at me right now? So, Isis, you're quite sure you'd like to work in film? My film. Trelane, it's a dream come true. That's good. I'll arrange a little audition. Detective Cooper, what are you doing here? I'm undercover, Quentin. Cool it. You've certainly got the look down for this party, Detective Cooper. My friends call me Coop. How'd you get into this party anyway? I thought it was pretty exclusive. It's all who you know. You know, I'm kind of Trelane's protege. He's actually quite brilliant, and he's very, very well respected in the genre. You snuck in, didn't you? You think I'm part of the kitchen staff. <laughs> what are you looking for down there? Actually, I... No, don't tell me. You lost your lens cap. Yeah, did you find it? No. So, yeah, yeah, so I jumped out of the shower. I couldn't take it anymore. Tango? Why not? It would appear that Trelane has made his choice. You think she'll be okay? My impression has been that Minty can take care of herself. <laughs> she really nailed you with that beer bottle. I would remind you that she took me by surprise. Well, no sense in wasting an open bar. Come on, Blanc. Coop, I told you, I don't drink. No, but maybe they've got some imported guava juice or something. Come on. Hmm. I quite like guava juice. I haven't showered since. I can't. I can't. Fred, I think you're full of crap. To me, the creative act is one of struggle. An effervescent battle between heaven and earth, a, a throbbing, thrusting, undulating... Oh! Idiot! Mr. Trelane. I don't know you. How did you get into my party? Actually, I... Where did you get that video camera? Did you steal it? Absolutely not, sir. I'm a filmmaker, too. And I'm your biggest fan. A fan? Well, do you mind? I I'd be honored. Get out. But I've seen all your movies. Get out before I have you thrown out. Out. Now. We have got to get her out of here before she blows our cover. Come on, can you at least try and walk? I say what? This is bad. This is very bad. Who's ignoring me? We're not ignoring you. Let's go. I just love you guys. <laughs> I'm fine. You're not. Looking at me like that, Block, I know my limit. Well, it doesn't appear that you do. Look, thanks for the ride, Block. Good night. Do you need anything before I go? Um, there's some aspirin on the bookshelf in my dining room. Could you bring me four? <laughs> Of you and Polly. Detective, what does this picture mean? It's none of your goddamn business. 
This girl is involved in the investigation of several homicides. If you don't tell me the nature of this picture, I'll have no other choice than to involve Captain Chandler. Yeah, you're a good cop, Block. You gotta loosen up a little. Look, I haven't done anything wrong unless you call having a picture of my sister in my home a crime. Your sister? Yeah, Polly's my sister. Our parents were killed three years ago by... It doesn't matter, they're dead, right? Polly came to live with me. It just didn't work, you know? I mean, we fought all the time. Well, I, I drank and she fought. I tried to convince her to come home, but she just wouldn't. You know, I've tried and I've tried, but she... You have not tried hard enough. You know, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't worry about her and wonder what scumbag she might have to... She's a big girl, Block, you know? Polly is 15 years old. She's 15. Good night, Block. pick me. I'm just supposed to be tech support. Oh, relax, Melissa. You techies are always fantasizing about getting down and dirty. Here's your chance. You ladies okay? Yeah, sweetie, we're fine. Listen, uh, I owe you another one. You got that right. What are you doing, anyway? Modern science, sweetie. Mindy rigged up this, uh, high-tech bullet bra. It's coming pretty handy. It's got audio-visual capabilities, computerized chassis, and it's fully adjustable. This way she can keep in contact with Block and myself at all times. And the underwire acts as the antenna. Okay. Let's uh, check that nipple focus. Looks good from here. Picture perfect. Switching to tracking. Great. Also, should Trelane want to take her elsewhere for the audition, we can track her for miles with this thing. Hey, there we are. I'm impressed. What are you staring at? I was just contemplating whether perspiration could cause any kind of electrical shock. It's fully grounded. Where are you going to hide your piece? Don't ask. Hey, sweetie. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, man. Block? Wow. Mindy, you look slutty. Thanks, Russo. Yeah. Detective? Rusa? Well, I just came by to see if you needed anything. We don't need your help, Russo. You're the one who sent Chandler to Wolfgang's video store after us in the first place. It was not pleasant. Well, I just did it by the book, Cooper. Section 12, paragraph 4. You no, know, that's your problem, Russo. You're a friggin' bookworm. Coop, I suggest we don't have time for this right now. Bookworm? Well, thank you very much, Vice Girl. In my office now. Yeah, very nice. What? What happened? Where's Russo? You know, Coop, I think you should take it easy on the guy. I think he's got a crush on you. Think so? So, everybody ready? Block? Ready. Mindy? Ready. Sweetie? <clears throat> For a guy that ain't going no place, I guess I'm ready. Great. 
Let's do it. Take it easy, girls. Good luck. Oh my god, there's Polly. Where the hell have you been? Leave me alone. Polly, what happened? Look, why don't you just get back in the car with your friends and leave me the hell alone? Polly, why the hell did you run out on us? I couldn't ID the guy. It was too dark that night. I thought I could, but I couldn't. Polly, can't you see if you... I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me to get off the streets and go live with you. What is with this sudden interest in my life? What, you run out of money for booze? Polly! Mighty Isis. Chelaine. <laughs> Come in, my beloved. I won't be long, dear. I'm just shooting a very emotional scene upstairs. Pivotal moment for the characters, really. Oh, I'm so weary of lifting everyone up, up, up. Although it is creatively invigorating. Don't go away now. I do so love auditions. I just got stage fright. I'm out. Doing some snooping. Switching to visual. Downstairs. I'm gonna go to the second floor. Be careful, Melissa. She can't hear you. I know. Sounds pretty fake. I'm gonna take a peek. Jermaine's in there. I think he's got a gun. This doesn't feel right, Block. Get in there. I'll call for backup and be right behind you. Good, good, Bob. Now, move aside. Hey, what the hell? No, don't! Julian, no! Vice, everybody freeze! Hey, what's going on? This isn't in the script. What the hell is going on here? It's a movie! What? Fake bullets, fake blood. She's fine. You're fine, right? Fine. Fine? Yeah, fine. Don't shoot me, mighty Isis! I don't have a gun, Trelane, or I just might. It was an accident. You startled me. 
Isis, you're magnificent, stupendous, sensational. Trelane, what is going on here? We're making magic, of course. And, well, simply buckets of money. The really sick people out there think it's real, and I'm only too happy to supply the illusion. How old are you? Uh, 21? Yeah, let's see your ID. I, I left it in my other pants. What other pants? You're not wearing any pants. How old are you? 17. 17. I'm surrounded by vipers. Book them. Yes, yes, she was fine. But you know how it is. They only seem to last through one film. <laughs> the cops? Well, they had to let me go. My lawyer's too good for them. Besides, what do you think they have on me? A 17-year-old hooker? She'll never testify. You can trust me on that one. Yes, it was a good thing I was firing blanks. But the footage does not look good. I think we'll have to go back to tried and true methods. Yes, I got some good possibilities at the party. Mm-hmm. I'm well aware of that, Steve. Well, you'll just have to stall them. All right. This is Grandma's recipe. She's probably looking down at us in complete shock that I'm cooking, let alone cooking her soup. Right. Let me see that thermometer. Hey, looks like that aspirin worked. You're getting better already. Go ahead, eat. Remember this day? Yeah, I remember it. Before I knew what a lush was. Look, Polly, I know I've been a rotten sister. I know I've let you down. Nobody's perfect. I mean, I'm not. Mom and Dad being gone still really hurts. But what hurts me even more is knowing you're out there on the streets. I wish things could be different, you know? I mean, I just wish that you would make an effort. You could try. Spare me. I'm gonna go crash on the couch. I thought I'd make us some eggs. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <sighs> Cooper. It's Block. Yeah, Block, what is it? We received a tape. What kind of a tape? It's the real thing. Apparently from our killer. It was addressed to you. All right, listen, uh... Meet me at Sweetie's Bar. I don't want to run into Chandler. Listen, Polly, I have to go. Yeah, well, me too. I gotta go. No, listen. Polly, I want you to stay here with me and be safe. Will you just try it? Please? Okay.
call you as soon as I can, all right? Okay. Sweetie, what can I say? Three. You owe me three. Yeah, I know. Let's see the tape. Star. This is so cool. I feel like a real movie star. Great music towards you. Indeed. Analysis block? The brand name on that cassette matches that of the shrink wrap in evidence. It appears to be the same killer. Go on. Well, the killer's hand reaching from behind the camera appeared to be a man's hand. And based on the strength required for strangulation, I'd say that was a safe assumption. Mm -hmm. And this tape was dropped off, not mailed? That's correct. Take the tape back to headquarters. Start going through all the surveillance tapes at the precinct entrance. That will take some time. Well, then get going. Turner? Yes, Coop. Help Buck. I was afraid you'd say that. Buy you a beer? What? A beer. Can I buy you a beer? Isn't it against regulations to drink on duty? It's 10 a.m. already. What are you, a bookworm or something? Buck, I wanted to tell you that... I, I just wanted... I've been trying to tell you that... Yes, Detective? Well, you remember back at Tulane's mansion, right? Yes, I can recall that. I know you can remember it, Block. Do you have to be so damn literal all the time? I do endeavor to be precise. Well, that's not the point, Block. I'm trying to say thank you. Thank you? Yes. For what? For saving my life. Actually, I did not save your life. Trillane was firing blanks. Yeah, but you didn't know that when you jumped between us. And I just wanted to say thank you. I only did what any other trained law enforcement officer would have done. So your thank you is misplaced. I'm trying to say thank you, you idiot. You're welcome. And Block? Yes? About what happened in San Francisco. I, I know you're a good cop. You know what, sweetie? I think I'll uh, have coffee instead. Coffee? I'm turning over a new leaf. Coffee's a sensible drink. You want regular or decaf? Don't push it. All right, so what shall we toast to? Let's toast to family. I will toast to family. To all the families all over the world, carpe diem and e pluribus unum and justice for all. You know, I didn't think it would happen, Russo, but uh, you may be coming around. Is that a good thing? Well, you passed the head test with flying colors. The head test? Great head on demand. You're obedient, Russo. I like that in a love slave. Thank you. What? What is it? Your tie. My tie? You like that? No, no, no. On the tape. A tie. The victim had a skinny little tie around her neck. Where have I seen a tie like that before? I don't know. A tie town? How could I be so stupid? 
What, um, what's the name of that guy, uh, the video guy? Uh... Wolfgang Love. No, no, the other guy. Oh, Quentin? Yeah, exactly. Sweetie, give me the phone. Wait, wait a minute. Are you, are you talking about uh, Wolfgang's assistant, that weird, quirky little guy always wears the same outfit? That's the one. I'm gonna call Polly. His name's not Quentin. It's Arnold. Arnold uh, 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 Hillowitz. I know because I've checked his ID a dozen times just to bust his balls. Shit, no answer. Arnold Hillowitz? I'm sure of it. Let's hit it, Russo. She's gone. He's got her, I can feel it. Maybe she just left on her own. No, this place is a mess. So what? Russo, Polly's not like that. And look, a street kid does not leave her jacket behind. Nah, it doesn't feel right. Something bad has happened. Get an APB out on Arnold Hillowitz, AKA Quentin. Call Block and Turner at the station and have them meet you here. Then meet me at Wolfgang's video store. I'm taking your car. There you go. search warrant. Russo! Where's Coop? She should be here. Russo! All right. need to find Coop. Mm -hmm. Coop's place first. Might be some clues there. Then Trillane's mansion. Should be empty. Go! Hillowitz, you murdering bastard! Where is my sister? It's Quentin. Say something, Coop. I always knew you'd make an excellent actress. I just had to have you in one of my films. And now I've had the good fortune of snagging both Cooper sisters. What a coup! I know that you're both ready to give a really excellent performance. I'm not performing anything for you, you bastard. And that's the key, isn't it? You're not performing, and yet, what a performance. What are you talking about, Hillowitz? I'm talking about how difficult it is to find somebody who can make it truly believable. You know what I mean? You're sick, Arnold. Never call me Arnold. And those other two, your partners, what are their names, Blockhead and Curly? They just don't have that special something that the camera loves. But you have a coop and a nickname to boot. Look, if it's me you want, you've got me. Why don't you let Polly go? Oh, no. If I did that, I'd have to rewrite the entire script. And believe me, that can be a real pain in the ass for the director. You'd be lucky to direct traffic. That's what my ex-boss Wolfgang said. What do you mean, ex-boss? Oh, didn't you hear? Wolfgang went to that big peep show in the sky. Can you believe that bastard wanted me to work overtime? Well, forget it. 
Not for minimum wage. So I shoved a few of my favorite films down his throat, and that was that. Do you think I qualify for unemployment? Top five and no special order. That's easy. Godfather? Of course. Taxi driver? Naturally. Midnight cowboy? I love that one. How many is that? Three. Gosh, let's see. No special order, remember. Right, thank God for that. I know. Oh! The Magnificent Seven. Interesting. One more. <sighs> Guys and dolls. Really? I would have never pegged you for a musical theater guy. Oh, yeah, I love that stuff. In fact, I'm hoping to make my life story into a musical someday. Kind of a neurotic thriller. A real song and dance man, huh? You betcha. Hey! What are you trying to pull? You think I'm fresh out of film school or something? I believe this is your gun, Detective Cooper. I'm not usually much into firearms, although they do come in handy. I'm more the hands-on type. I think you know what I mean. Did you get a chance to view my work? Your work? The tape I sent you. Oh, you're a sick fuck, Arnold. I said Quentin! So did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. What'd you think? Of what? Her performance. She was good? She stank! She couldn't take direction. She couldn't hit her marks. That girl couldn't act to save her life. Now it's your turn, Polly. Let's see what you can do. What do you say? Quentin, don't do it! Asshole, you killed Jesse. She couldn't take direction either. Polly! I'm sorry, Jan. It's my fault. I don't want to be sorry. Hmm. That was pretty good, but let's try it once more. With feeling. No! No! Please don't! Polly, you put the rest to shame. Let's loosen you up and see what you can do, huh? Now stand on the bed, Polly. Go ahead, Polly. It'll be all right. Do it, Polly. Stand on the bed. Now dance a jig, a cute little ditty that would make your parents proud. Don't have to do that, Polly. There you go again. One director, one set. You know, Polly, now would be a great time to tell them to go straight to hell. Go to hell. You're ruining everything. I know, Arnold. Get the gun, Polly. Close set. God. Jan, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Block, untie me. He's dead, Jan. Oh. Are you okay? That's the question. I don't know. I'm shaking all over. What took you guys so long? We got here as soon as we could. Just in time, I'd say. I killed him. I killed the murderer. No, you didn't. Detectives Turner and Block did it. But I shot him with your gun. 
No, it, it was Trelane's gun. It only shoots blanks. Now, aren't you glad you didn't kill somebody? I was so scared. Oh, I know, sweetie, I know. But it's all over. And I promise you that no one is ever going to hurt you again. Oh. He's an ex-what? Agent. Turns out Quentin was Arnold Hillowitz, ex-Hollywood agent and big-time psycho. They all want to direct. When no one would let him behind the camera, he decided to branch out on his own. Coop, did you ever suspect that Quentin was after you? Not at all. I guess Polly must have been next on his list. He followed her to my house. I was his lucky bonus. It's a good thing Polly doesn't know the truth about that gun. What gun? Never mind. All right. Can I buy you a drink, Coop? No, thanks. How is Polly? Great. She's back at the house with me, and she's talking about going back to high school. It's hard to believe that we spent so much time at that video store with Polly trying to catch a killer. It was right under our noses. You know, it sure is. I remember this one time I was on this case, and it was in... Sorry, sweetie. You know, I've already heard this one. Would you excuse us for a minute? All right, but just, just one more thing, uh, Coop. What's that? How in the world did Mindy and Block find Quentin's place? Sweetie, I'm surprised at you. That's an easy one. All it took was brains, brawn, and one hell of a bra. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Generous and wasted you. 